<laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Epic Tavern. My name is Weasel. We are in Weasel's Hole, and look at all the quests. So much going on. Amelia. Yeah, you can have a room. Fine, let's take care of the patrons first before we look at the quests. Excellent. Ah, yes, yeah, someone stole your shoes last night. That really fucking sucks. You're gonna nail this quest. What quest? You're not hired. Go away. Have you upgraded since the last time I was in? I don't think so. Maybe there's a new sign on the wall? I mean, entirely possible. And yes, you can get some porridge. Huh? And you can sleep and you can drink. I mean, all, all the good things. Just make some extra cash monies and bring my tavern level up. Okay, what got Amelia to do? I have a job you might like. No, that's not Amelia. That is, uh, what's his name? Tell me more. It's all in your head, level two. Tormented screams echo through the heroes' minds as they have ever since acquiring the lost MacGuffin of beer. Beer, beer, beer. Time to get this thing of Ignat to Ignatius before it makes everyone crazy. He warned to send a well-rounded crew for the strip. Choose your heroes wisely. Oh, well-rounded. Ha, good one. What about this one? The cobbler mentioned this. Never a finery winery. The elves of Renaissance Winery in Ardown have offered the tavern a discount price. On the first order of elven wine. Who could turn that down? The bottles are paid for, someone just has to pick them up. Okay, sure, that, we can do that. Got a bit of gossip for you. Well, what you got? A medical mentor. The bar is no place for Grisilla to rest up from Gorgon Wasp stings. A proper infirmary will allow her to recover from paralysis more quickly while bringing in a better class of adventurer. Visit Alvin Clay Clee at the Milton Infirmary for advice. Okay. Hmm. Anything else? You would like a wine. Cool. That That's quite a... That's a bunch of stuff we're gonna have to deal with. Uh, what is Demon Chummer saying? Listen. Uh, yes, I wanna hear about the alligator. My past is behind me. I can take my skills and do something of my own choosing with them. Sure, have a room. We're, we're just gonna take care of them now. Uh, how many rooms do I have left? I have two more, so that, that'll do. Cool, let's uh, view the quests I wanna say. Three active quests. Uh, one available, two available uh, in the tavern and story. Story mode? Oh yeah, right, that's the um, the Tormented Screams one. Let's go and view the map and start a quest, I would say. We could just pick up the wine real quick. I mean, we just need to pick something up. Survival and coordination is required. Ah, uh, sure. Uh, first, let's uh, designate everyone we need for the social one here. Choose your heroes wisely. Um, something balanced out. So he's really good with combat. Gronson. Sure, you'll go there. Then we have Morgul, which hopefully is a little bit better. Mind, disarm, uh, I don't even know. Yeah, we need someone who's a little bit more social, like June. That looks good, and how about Hallam? Are you survivalists? You, you, you should be a survivalist for all I care. What about Clog? You are very good at speaking in terms of social, but other than that, mm, you know what, that, that'll do. Oh, 31%. I don't know if we're gonna do that. If we're gonna be surviving this, well, we, we can try. So, never a finer winery. Oh wait, I need two adventurers. I'm a silly goose. I'm a silly goose. I need I need to level up so I have more in the roster. I assume. So we're gonna, yeah, remove that. We're gonna see about the taverns uh, ones afterwards. Let's start a bad trip. Um, just gonna leave him at the party and let him join. Twenty twenty six ten. Twenty twenty ten. Okay, I think Clog is the better choice. Hallam is probably going to be bored out of his mind. So be it. I don't like 30% chance. Uh, can I level them up? No, not yet. We'll try. It'll be fine. Not Nothing to worry about. What's the worst that could happen? I mean, they die. A young boy seated outside the tavern tells the heroes, My mom says that people who hang out in bars are mostly drunks and losers. Grunts and bristles. Well, I'll tell your mom to stuff a dragon egg up, but it's pulled away by Mogul. Murgul. Good, good call there. But yeah, she can suck it. We're not drunks, hopefully. Waken from a deep slumber by the sound of struggle, Clark sees that a boar has Morgul pinned to the ground. The politician stumbles to his feet and rushes to aid his companion. Is he gonna argue with the boar? Success! That was an easy one, just 15 for the event. Despite his grogginess, the determined orcs... The determined orcs closes the gap quickly. In one smooth motion, he picks up his sword and slashes with the skill of a master politician. The boar falls beneath his assault, and within, he returns to slumber. A master politician defeats a boar. I like that. Murgul never liked you, a voice speaks directly into June's mind. The bard looks around nervously as it continues. You should open the box. That would show her. Oh, boy. 
I'm not opening the box. Leave me alone. June, June blurts out suddenly. Morgo looks at her with concern. Are you okay? You should talk about this. Come on, open the box. It'll be fun, a voice in Clog's head says. The politician looks around. They can't hear. It's just you and me, the voice continues. Open the box and I'll show you something you've never seen before. Clog cranks open the box and the world around them fades away. No, no. The heroes find themselves floating in darkness. Laughter echoes around them and a disembodied voice booms. Welcome to my domain. Your trials will begin shortly. When you return to your world, I, if you return, you will emerge changed for better or worse. Combat. The darkness swirls around the heroes and they find themselves in a wide cavern. The voice booms. Trial of combat. On the far side of the room are a nearly identical group of adventurers. No wait, they are exactly identical. That's us, isn't it? Grunts and sighs at the doppelgangers rush to attack. Oh, it's the doppelganger thing. Right, the heroes scout out a narrow win over themselves. After leading his allies to victory, Grunson looks down at the dead other. Grunson, struggling to comprehend what he's seeing. Knowing he will never face a greater foe, the barbarian is permanently imbued with bravery. Ooh, nice. Grunson gains bravery. With a bright flash, the heroes find themselves fully restored and standing on the edge of a chasm. A decrepit rope bridge spans the gap to the other side and hundreds of angry orcs are rushing up the only path behind them. Trial of cunning, the voice bellows. Okay. It's deciding speed is the key. June recklessly sprints across the crumbling bridge and somehow makes it. On the other side, she quickly reinforces the bridge and the others are able to cross safely. The bard is instilled with a new sense of confidence. Okay, that's why we needed all these different uh, uh, skills. It's pretty clear now. The chasm fades away and the heroes find themselves in a large war tent. Three rival generals stare grimly at one another. The tallest turns to Grunson. Well, you call us all here to hear your peace plan. Out with it. The disembodied voice booms. Trial of diplomacy. Oh, we can do that. He's good. Oh, never mind. Grunson, impassioned speech comes up short. There's simply too much bad blood between the factions. The generals return to their respective camps with word that the war will continue. The barbarian's inability to end the war leaves him feeling permanently somber. You gotta feel that the politician would have been the better choice here, but hey. The swirling darkness engulfs the heroes once again and they find themselves in a small village during a hellacious storm. A funnel of cloud forms as the storm approaches. The villagers turn to the heroes for instructions. Trial of survival, the voice bellows. Let's see. Oh no. Clog hurts the locals into the church and the heroes attempt to reinforce the door frames. A deafening gust of wind brings the church down on top of them, killing most of the villagers. The image of the dead children will haunt Clog to his grave. Clog gained gloomy. Mm -hmm. All right, we're traveling again, I think. The swirly darkness engulfs the party once again and they find themselves back at the campsite. More than a little disoriented and forever changed by the experience. A faint laughter echoes in their minds. Let's get this cursed thing back to Ignatius, Clog grumbles who's now kind of gloomy, seeing all these dead children. So what exactly is a MacGuffin anyway, Grunson says as they approach the curio shop. June shrugs. Could be anything. All that matters is that it's very important. Yeah, I agree. It's not... It, it, it has some magic abilities, definitely. Uh, a sinister item, the last MacGuffin of beer, Ignatius says, while placing the box in his vault. Would have been better had it stayed lost, but such items always seem to find a way back into circulation. This vault is impenetrable, so it will cause no more harm. And here's your reward. Yay! 35G. That's fine. Oh, we're going back to the cavern now. Clock chases a rabbit around the camp. Predictably enough, he falls straight down a hole and needs the rest of the party to pull him out. Typical politician. <laughs> yeah, that, that makes sense. Okay, so... I think we had two for two with the quests. Passing through a village, the adventurers are called upon to aid a murder investigation. The murder weapon was never found, but the list of suspects is short. Wow. And we solved it. The party correctly identifies the culprit. Rivalries for prime grazing land apparently get heated in these parts. I bet they do. I never thought I'd be so happy to see Weasel's Hole. We're back! Yay! Yeah, success. While concerned about how easily they fell prey to the McGovern influence, Ignatius admired the adaptability and resourcefulness required to complete the mission. I guess we did okay. I guess we did okay. 173 for everyone. I think that's fairly fair. Let's return to the tavern and uh, see how we did. Final profit? Good. Next level at 800. We are getting closer to the next tavern level. Let's take care of our uh, patrons. I think I want to do the side quest now before I continue with uh, some main quests. Oh, Gwenlil! So then I said that's not a real mule. 
heard about Weasel's Hole, but this is my first time in. Well, welcome to my hole. I would like a plate of stale bread. You're welcome. About that, I should look what my... The room and board says. Um, oh, I'm out of porridge. Good that I looked. Also out of barbecue rat. Unbelievable. And we should get some more. We should get some more barbecue rat. Just in case. We can't afford it. Yeah, there's going to be the upgrade menu coming soon. Uh, no level up yet, but look at all the items we have to give them. Blade or oversized gavel. Hmm. Mace of hammering is already equipped to him. I mean, at least he would have a weapon. This one gets plus one. Public speaking plus two. Mm, remove. Equip equip the blade. That's fine. He, on the other hand. Uh, where's my politician? He's the politician. Isn't he? Skills. Yes, social eight. I'm going to give him the oversized gavel. That would... Wait. Let's hal him now. Ah, I did it wrong. Okay. <laughs> I'll figure this out. All right. So... Hallam is where Clog is our politician. All right, Clog, buddy, you're gonna get the oversized gavel. We don't have anything else. We do have that single sword. Who's who's missing one? Murugal, our fire mage, isn't holding an item, so let's give him some. I know it's it's a sword. Well, it still works. It's not a negative thing, so that's good. Hmm. Natalie Crawford, do you think I should start working out? Totally. Now, this is a floor I could see myself passing out on. The name's Natalie. Well, Natalie, nice to make your acquaintance. You got a second? Sure. Captain, call me Captain Stormscream. I earned that title in the Royal Navy. Anything else? I suppose I could lend a hand. Ah, not now. Sure, you can have a room. You can have some wine. Wine and, uh... Have you ever considered selling this place? I'd love to own a bar. Not that I could afford it. We have a new patron, though. Mazoger Adler first. You haven't been seen a belt? Nope. Uh, who are you? You're a cut purse. What the frig is a cut purse? Um, seems to be pretty good in social skills. You would like a cup of soda water. You, you can have that. Okay, now, time to view the map and go on another epic adventure. <laughs> in a winery. Never a finer winery. Okay, we need survival skills. That's, uh, who? Who is, by the way, someone with survival? Not you. June. Wait, do I even have a single person that's good at survival? Doesn't look like it. No, never mind. I have one. His focus. Grunson. That's his focus. Excellent. And coordination, which is combat, I guess. We can send Morgul as well. And Halan. What if we add another one? Makes no difference, I guess. Yep. Makes no difference. Still the same chance. The chance of success. Well, then we're going to just send those two. And for the medical mentor... Social and persuasion. That sounds good. 40% chance. Let's do it. Let's do both at the same time. It'll work out fine. It'll be the best. All right. Never a final winery starts. A bard sends the heroes off with a rousing rendition. Try not to get killed today. Sure. I will try my best. You two can do that. Shortly followed by this uh, red helmet. Arriving at an inn, the heroes are met by unimpressed locals. You don't look like adventurers to me, ro says one. And Grunson attempts to spin a tale of bravery, but gets so muddled up by the end of it, the locals think the party is a group of traveling accountants. Eh, bummer. But not really relevant to the quest, we just need to pick up some wine. It's not the worst quest in the world. Murgle brought Buckleberry Pie along for the journey. Grunson states that Appleberry is better. <laughs> so? Oh no, the argument ends abruptly when Murgle smashes the pie in Grunson's face. That went really badly. I have a feeling this is not a good choice. The mine... Oh, the forest floor suddenly rushes away from the party's feet. They're caught in the net high off the ground. We just wanted to pick up some wine. Morgul cuts the side of the net back open. The party safely climbs down the tree without injury. Success. Wonderful. What would have happened otherwise? Cannibals would have eaten us or so. Renaissance Winery sits at the edge of a vast field of grape wines. Lady Miriam, or Miriam... Rosewood, owner of the estate, personally escorts Murgle to the goods. And, damn it, failure. Murgle attempts to pick up a crate, but it slips through her hands and hits the ground at an unfortunate angle. Cool, we failed the quest. Ah, well, and they're returning. Back to a medical mentor. Two medics rush past, carrying a guardsman on a stretcher into the infirmary. Damn mountain orcs are getting bolder by the day, says a man in a blood-soaked smock. Alwyn Clay at your service. 
All right, that's the objective, and we were successful. We could use another infirmary in the region, Alwyn says. Tell us what I'll give you the info you need and a good stash of supplies if you agree to help out occasionally when we're over capacity. Excellent. That was very successful. Yeah, if you don't have enough heroes. Ooh, what happened there? What happened to them? They're like on fire. There's a weird symbol over there. Anyway, to pass the time, June and Clark have an insightful discussion about the airspeed velocity of unladen swallows. Mm, that reference. As Weasel's hole appears in the distance, Clark sighs, I feel I could sleep for a week. Wonderful! Medical mentor finished up, successful, and everyone gets some gold. Quite a bit of gold. Wonderful. And someone in proof of intelligence. This party, on the other hand, yeah, it didn't go so well. Just downhill from their camp, the heroes watch two lovers meet in a field at night. They seem to content they seem content to sit together and watch the stars all night long. Ah, young love. Okay, so okay, they're not standing around watching them while they're doing it. Good. That would be creepy. The party spies puffs of smoke in the distance. What could it be? Smoke signal! Someone's ahead is warning of roaming bandits, which the party takes care to avoid. Well, at least that worked out. Oh, they're lightly wounded. When did that happen? Quick look, when did it happen? Oh yeah. I guess I had no chance. I don't remember seeing this. The group of Sackbutt players are not just a musical group, but a band of thieves. They ambush the party who, after a scuffle, flee. Yeah, that, for whatever reason, I didn't see that pop up. Very odd. Ah oh, well. And in the tavern we go. Check out this cave. It even comes with a bearskin rug. Uh, the fire mage flops down on the rug, which turns out to be an actual bear. Morgul gets thoroughly mauled before the others can drag her away safely. Poor Morgul. Nearly died there, just grabbing some wine. That didn't go too well. Oh well, tavern reputation. Returned! Yes. Okay, at least we made some profit today. And more quests are in. Okay. You know the song, Borgak and the Goblin Wench? Yeah, I'm Borgak. Long story. Goodbye. You, Grizzilla, you can have a house wine. And what about Mazoga? Yes, you can also have some wine. I've got a rumor which will pique your interest. Tell me more! Nosebleed seats. Decor. Huh. Last night's bi-weekly brawl left the tavern's tables and chairs in a rough state. Craft guild master Tarnar Biscop, who most agree started the fight, wrote down the name of the guild's woodworker in a note that she would cover the cost. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, you can have a room. Thanks for that info. And yes, you can draw on your sorrows. That's totally fine. I wish we had a higher level already, but not there yet. Gotta, you know, give out some more drinks and food and all that kind of stuff. The merchants are afire with this news. What is it? Material concerns. Alwyn Clay at the Milton Infirmary provided a shopping list for necessary equipment. The Merchant Guild and Valorant should be able to provide most of the items. Excellent. Another quest to continue our infirmary uh, route. Excellent. What about you? Chicken wings. You can get an order of chicken wings. It's really, really good. Well, you're welcome. Uh, okay, you want a room. You want a drink. Oh, wow. Everyone wants rooms now all of a sudden. That's okay with me. You too. Come on. Listen, sure. Plus two. Well, wow, we're really close to level five. We should be able to make that fairly soon, actually. Um, it doesn't say the number right. Oh, no, 770. So we need 30 more. We're going to have that tomorrow. Absolutely no problem. Yes, you can have a room. I guess we're not going to do it today. Okay, view the map. Have a quick look around. Um, someone's still injured. Oh, yeah, effects, debuffs. I can't really read this. What, what, what the debuff is. Oh, they're still adventuring. They're not even back yet. Huh. Fascinating. They're not back. Okay. So, uh, decor. Nosebleed seats. What do you need social for that? Yep, that's, that's perfect. These three guys are really social. They'll do it. 28 at social, that's good. You, we're gonna, we're gonna have to wait for the others to come back. Go forth and bring fresh seats. Oh yeah, there's never a final winery, continues now. Storm clouds hang over the heroes as they quietly pack up for another long day on the road. And that's about it. Okay, they're back. <laughs> Failure. That's a bummer. Well, hopefully we can get the wine next time. I should send more people over, I feel. Alright. You're all doomed, an old man yells from his porch as the heroes leave for their adventure. Wow. The party hears music in the distance. They come upon a group of Sackbot players. No! No, they're bandits! But, Hallam takes June's hand and invites her to join in an ancient land pirate dance. Oh. Well, I guess we were lucky. This time they were not bandits. Good for us. You would assume they're the same. 
given that our other party encountered them at that place. Anyway, a local farmer asked the party for help with a problem. For some reason, he needs to transport some wolves and sheep. Yes, we had that one already. Uh, and we were successfully solved his little puzzle. You can do it. The party finds the woodworker's workshop in Milston. Just Judo? Clark calls out. A tall, muscular half-elf appears at the door. Well, hello. How can I help you? Well, hopefully you can give us some uh, furniture. The politician hands over the guildmaster's note. Tarner spoke of your craftsmanship and bet us that your work is the finest in the land. Josh blushes. Well, I, uh... Well, I guess we're gonna get new furniture now or maybe in the next day. We'll see. Hallam sees a mother and daughter struggling to carry water from a well. And we just slosh all the water around and fail. Good job, but we're back. Road wearing eager to sleep in the real bed, the heroes round the corner and see Weasel's hole in the distance. The party finds, yeah, that, that worked out. Good good enough for me. Um, so if I take all the gold, the party's gonna be unhappy. And here, you know, let's let's give them a little bit more gold, see what how they feel about that. Not sure what the effects are. I would see I would say, you know, happiness of sorts. We'll see. Anyway, yesterday's activity, patrons, drinks served, meals served. Wonderful. And yeah, this is all still under construction. When you see these little icons, means under construction. I'm really curious to see how the game changes over time. Ooh, we have a level up. June, our bard, level up. Okay, so you're pretty good in combat and in social. And certain traits. Can I change those? No. Those are just your traits, I guess. Confident. Hmm, Song of Inspiration, Song of Rage, Bows and Crossbow. Yeah, your combat really sucks. Well, I'd, I'd love to level you up once I figure out how to do that. <laughs> level up. Well, maybe we're going to be able to level them up in the map mode. All right, tell me more. Tell me about your rumor. Pulling their weight. A scruffy dwarf enters and looks around. The down and dirty tug of war is upcoming, and we're looking for four-person teams who don't mind getting a little dirty. He says with a chuckle. From the look of this dive, that shouldn't be a problem for your patrons. Sure, sounds good. We're just gonna keep that. We don't have to do it right now. Sure. What is the best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of their men. Okay. Here's some meat. Level five, gained a roster slot. Yay! So who's gonna join us? What about Natalie Crawford, level two barbarian? Um, or thief. Thief has his focus on mind skills. That's the highest skill class. Hmm, I would like... I'm considering it. Because I don't really know if I have a lot of um, ones with focus on mind. Karimar. Sure. Can he, can he join? Yes, I can hire him. Adds the adventure to the roster. You got this. Cool. Now we're just going to need to give them what they want. And jump to the map view. Oh. What happened? Uh, a fortune teller once told me that Weasel's Hole will be my undoing. What did you say this place was called? Don't worry about it. It's, it's not it's different. It's not that whatever you think it is. Cool, you want more pseudo water. Let's do another quest, I shall say, in the next episode. Ah, eh, whatever. No, we're doing it now. Screw it. We do it live. Okay, I guess I can't get that winery quest. I failed it, so it's gone now. Let's try the doctor one again. Yeah, you're supposed to level up. Now if I click level up, in that screen, I get these uh, symbols. Six skill points. Sweet! So, you really suck at fighting, so I'm gonna give you a point here. No, that clearly doesn't work. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Sex appeal. Oh boy. Yeah, sure. Have some more sex appeal. <laughs> that's okay. History of beer, sense magic, and we're gonna put three more points in the different songs, which hopefully will help them out. Yeah, bows and crossbow, I, for whatever reason, can't improve that. Doesn't really work out. That's okay. And we're gonna start material concerns. I think this is the final quest, probably? Anyway. Back to roster. Social on contract. So we're gonna make Clock join. Anyone who has some social skills here. June, our Karimar, our Thief, and Halam. 35. Looks well-rounded. Um... Fighting is a little low and surviving is low. How about we kick out Karimar and throw in Grunson? Just so we have a little bit more fighting going for us. I think that's a good idea. Kreese is uh, actually survival going and fighting, both of these things. Just in case we have to. Let's go forth and finish that quest. Do you think we'll see your centaur? Grunson says as they exit. 
Who knows? My first time out, I nearly walked into it undying. Okay. Would be cool if there's centaurs. Wouldn't be surprised if there weren't. If there were, my bad. No, it isn't June Screams. Yes, it is. Clock Screams back. What, what are you screaming about? No, it isn't. June tackles Clock to the ground. They squabble for quite some time rolling around in the dirt. Yeah, that didn't work well. Oh, Grunson is still lightly wounded. Oh, no. Oh, nay. Looks completely lost. Decides to sit this out. Yeah, this went horrible. Halam trips over a tree branch and sprains his big toe. So clumsy. Silly Halam. You're the worst. This party is ambushed by an adorable pack of rabbitkin. Oh no, they're rabbit rabbitkin. <laughs> what do they look like? Oh god damn it! Ah, Grunson gained poisoned. As the heroes flee, Grunson takes a nasty bite to the leg. The wound immediately swells up. Oh great, great. Well, at least we're going to an infirmary store, I think. A hawk circles overhead with a note tied to its leg. Are we going to shoot it down? The hawk ignores Clark's attempts to coax it down. It screeches loudly, probably something insulting and hawkish. Wow, he's the only one who tries things and he's lightly wounded and poisoned. No wonder this isn't working. A servant escorts the heroes into the Guildmaster's office. Guildmaster Tardigan, I present envoys from the new tavern, Weasel's Hole. And at least that was successful. Clock, <laughs> inspired and demoralized. Demoralized June as well, but fantastic. Oh well. It worked out. Halam convinces Guildmaster Tardigan that he should donate the materials in exchange for a guild discount at the tavern. Yes. Let's do that. And we're going back, hopefully, without too many problems. Yeah, over here it seems that there were three social quests that we did, or succeeded at. Clark rises well before the rest of the party and enjoys a hot cup of coffee while contemplating the road ahead. Walking up a step, steep incline, Clark slips and goes tumbling down the hill. Everyone's dying! As the adventurers set up camp, June whips up a little snack out of scavenged fruit and berries. Really? You're just like straight in front of the tavern. Wow, they haven't returned yet. To finish this one off, we're gonna have to wait another day. Well, I'll talk about frustrating. 400 more RP to reach level 5. But what I think I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to see uh, if I can get the beta branch running, which, oh. He just walked sideways. See if I can get the beta brunch running. Oh, I need to manage my stocks. And hopefully that won't break the safe game. It might. It's very likely that these things happen. And then continue with that in mind. Uh, other than that, I might pause the series depending on um, the outcome of the safe game. But I would love to check out the new features that are coming uh, to this game. If you guys want to play the game yourself, it's available on Steam. I mean, you know that by now, I'm pretty sure. But still, important to point that out. You should give it a spin. Yeah, I personally think it's a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoyed this. Oh, Steps On. You have taps here, right? Totally. Look at all these people. So many people coming in. We're definitely going to be level 6 soon if this keeps going like that. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Weasel. I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye. Bow, 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 bow,